Alright, welcome everybody to another segment of the Camo Cook here. Uh, you're at my home barbecue here, and uh, what I'm doing for dinner today, it's Labor Day weekend, want to cook up something special. So what I got here is I got some venison inner loins, and uh, I'm going to be cooking those up in a cast iron to go along with a mixture of uh, wild mushrooms. I got some morels, some gray oysters, some hedgehog mushrooms, and uh, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Alright, check this out. What I got here, I got my cast iron pan, it's been on there, it's been heating up, it's been plenty warm. So what I'm going to do, dump just a little bit of uh, vegetable oil in the pan. Make sure to work that all the way around. Now you want your, your saute pan, your cast iron pan, really hot when you do this. You want to hear the sizzle. So what I got here is I just got a mixture of uh, cracked black pepper, kosher salt. Right down in the hot pan. Now all I'm going to do here is sear it real quick. It's only going to be in there for a couple of minutes. Just so you get some good colorization. Then I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to finish up the recipe. Okay, so when I got a good sear, got some good color on it. So I still want a really, really rare on the inside. I'm just gonna pull it off, set it on my cutting board, and set it off to the side. And then I'm gonna get ready to cook up the rest of it, which is gonna be my um, my mushroom topping. So in the same hot pan with the oil, with the salt, with the beef ladle, with the fond, I'm gonna dump in a handful of red onions. A little bit of an herb blend that I use all the time. It's just a blend of oregano, thyme, and basil. A little salt and pepper. And here's an extra special treat. I'm putting in some duck fat. Better than butter, right up there with bacon grease. Just a good all around Pretty cool little fat, something different than butter. But I'm gonna throw in a little hunk of butter to go along as well. Get that saute, and you want to cook it till the onions are about translucent. And you start to get some good color on them. Then I'm going to take all my wild mushrooms. All the morels, the oysters, the hedgehogs. A little bit of fresh garlic. I like to wait to put my fresh garlic in there until I get everything else in there. That way I'm a uh, little less of a odds of scorching my garlic and getting that fancy bitter flavor to it. Now the morels that I'm using for these are dried, so they're going to need some reconstituting. A little red wine. This is the Cabernet. Really, you can use any wine, any red wine, doesn't matter, table wine, Merlot, Cabernet, Shiraz, anything you really want. Toss in a little more salt and pepper. And I take my venison loins that I've had sitting back here resting, and I put it right down over the into the mushrooms right there like that. I'm just going to let it simmer for a couple of minutes. Alright, so once you've had that simmering just a couple of minutes, getting all those nice dried mushrooms all reconstituted back to where they should be. I'm going to go ahead and plate this up. I've got a review to uh, go along with my venison today. Is I've been roasting up some, uh, some red and some yellow potatoes. So now that I got 
those. I gotta take. Bring my uh, tenderloin back over to my cutting board here. One thing you don't want to do is undercook your venison. This is like a perfect mid rare there. I love that. I'm going to put that tenderloin right over the top of those potatoes. Mushrooms over the top of that. Dinner served. Hope you enjoyed it. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching Camel Cook.